Ils ont voté le pas parti. Ils ont voté le pas parti. Ils ont voté le pas One person sang As South Africa counts down to the general elections, the battle for KwaZulu Natal is intensifying, with various political parties flocking to the province. The province has the second highest number of registered voters at 5.7 million, as well as the highest number of young people registered to participate in the 2024 general elections, making the province a focal point for relentless campaigning. One of the reasons for working hard is to defy polls that predict death. Many people write obituary of the ANC prematurely. It is our responsibility as leadership of the ANC and members to defy that prediction of an obituary of the ANC. So I've spent some time in case that and I've not had the sense that the campaign was uh, uh, dull. There is campaign, but there was a strong contest from opposition parties, particularly the AFP, and the emergence of MK complicated matters. And when people ask me about MK, I say, it is not going to be a big challenge, but it is going to be an irritation and a nuisance. That's all I can, I can define them. Uh, it will not determine the, the ultimate outcome. And my own view is that we have a, a chance to still win out of majority in case that Actually, we want to improve from the previous election. That 57%, we have an outright, uh, an opportunity to improve it. And I'm saying that looking at the nature of the campaign and the attitude of the people, I've been to a number of campaigns of the ANC. It's one of the better campaigns, this one, because it doesn't depend on one individual. It depends on the team effort that we're putting into it. And my own prediction, is that we are going to win here. KZN is a province, and we have been governing this province. It was governed by Higata for two terms. We are governing it now, okay? And we have a responsibility to defend our gains rather than giving them up because we fear a talk of the opposition. We are campaigning here. We want to win this province. While the ANC exudes confidence, viewing the province as a stronghold, the EFF, on the other hand, has declared their intent to grow their numbers significantly. This is going to be the most highly contested province. Uh, I mean, we have been in the IEC meetings. Over 38 uh, political parties are contesting uh, KZN. We happen to be the fourth biggest political party in KZN. We are pushing very hard to ensure that we get uh, political power in uh, KwaZulu Natal province. We are solid in uh, KZN. We are continuing to build more solid structures. We are having structures in almost all 4,000. Uh, 300 VTs that are found in the province of KwaZulu Natal, 864 VTs that are found in uh, Eteguini in particular. But one thing that I want to, to mention is that in KZN in 2019, we grew from uh, uh, 78,000 votes to 350,000 vote, uh, votes, and I'm confident that we're still going to grow in this uh, province. Before, we're still in experience, uh, some uh, we're still training more people. Uh, in uh, our structures, but we are intact now. We are intact now. We have more comrades who are and fighters who are ready and who understand the, 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 the mission at hand. Uh, we are the victims of our own success. In 2019, we grew and we are going to ensure that we are, no, we are not going to drop even a single vote come uh, 2024. 20, uh, and we've been having a very solid campaign in the province of KwaZulu Natal, almost everywhere where we have our mass rallies, our mass actions, our door-to-door, -door, we get to retrieve reports in almost all the branches. So uh, the terrain is looking good for the EFF KZN. We are confident that we are going to uh, have solid numbers, we are going to grow. Uh, anything less than a million votes uh, is going to be counter-revolutionary. 
On another front, following their triumph in the Umgeni municipality, the Democratic Alliance has thrust forward Christopher Papas as their premier candidate, showcasing their ambitious agenda for job creation with the pledge of 300,000 new employment opportunities. So I think we have an incredible chance. I mean, the polls have shown that a couple of days during this uh, during this election, the DA is actually polled as the biggest party in KZN. With the emergence of the NK, the collapse of the ANC, with smaller parties eating away at the ANC, the EFF, the IFP resurgence in northern KZN, the DA regaining strength in this province. This province is up for grabs. No party will get 50%. We're vying for first place, but we know that there will be a coalition government in this province after the 29th of May. The vibe on the ground is amazing. There's, there's this feeling that people believe in change, which is fantastic. We're going to places that we've never gone to before. We've been welcomed in overwhelming numbers in places where we, we weren't that big before. And I think there's an optimism about this election, that people know that there's some sort of change happening, that on the 30th of May we're going to wake up to a different government. What that looks like, we're all obviously playing for votes and we're all trying to convince people that our message is the best. But yeah, I'm so excited and, and it's, it's we have such a beautiful province when you travel across it. I think we've said we want to make the multi-party charter work. Um, and in this province that is mainly the IFP, the, the other the players don't really exist in case it in. Um, so we've gone out. We're trying to make it work with the IFP and municipalities across the province. Um, but at the end of the day, we want to be the biggest party. So, you know, we'll, get, we'll rework that discussion after the 29th of May. Umkondo Wesizwe party, led by former President Jacob Zuma, has also hit the ground hard. The country is set to make their mark on the ballots on the 29th of May 2024.